Step two, building the claw assembly. The first parts we need are found on sheets one and sheet two. Okay, we're gonna start with these parts first and we're gonna build this side of the claw. Starting with this part here, we're gonna really simply just bend it in the middle. If you put your thumbs in the center and then just push it. Now, we're gonna score down here with something blunt. I tend to use the end of my ruler, but you could use the lollipop stick the kit came with, or the back of the knife, a pair of scissors or something, just to make this a little bit easier to fold. What we're looking for is that this hole and this hole line up with this hole and this hole here. If the rest of it lines up, then that's a bonus. There we go. Perfect. Now we're just gonna glue along here, along here, across the back. We're gonna avoid putting any glue near these parts here because we wanna keep them clear. Now you wanna take this part that you bent earlier. There are these little recesses here. And you're just gonna line up the part with those. Make sure this is nice and flush. And then we're just gonna glue along the back side and repeat on the other side. The other claw is exactly the same process for these parts here. Now take this long rectangular section and you wanna install this into this gap. You wanna make sure it extends the same amount on both sides. Now, to start taking your cogs, I need to double check which way round they go. When they're installed, the teeth should all line up. Make sure you don't put it on that way round, otherwise this is all completely useless. When you put the glue on, put the glue in a circle, but not on the teeth. Squeeze that together. If you get any glue on the inside of here, Take one of your pieces that you've cut already. Now we're going to turn it over and do the same thing. Double check it first. It goes on that way with the teeth lined up. Now we're going to glue that in position. Again, clean out if necessary. Now to finish stiffening this up, I'm going to put a thin bead of glue down here on both sides and on both sides of this part. There we go. Next, take the longer of your two sticks, the one that is 55 millimeters, and we're gonna glue some of the rings to this one. We want to use three rings on the bottom of here. If you put the first one on, the second one, and before you close it up, put some glue on here and twirl it around as you do it. Now, squeeze those bits together and be careful of your fingers. This time, go right in the corner so we get some glue on the wood. Take this, slide it on all the way to the bottom. And if you twist it, when you put them together, it smears the glue nicely all the way around. Now once it's dry, any excess glue on there can probably just be peeled off with your nail. Now, we're gonna take this part and insert it into the bottom of this part. You need to make sure it's this way around. Okay, once that's inserted through here, with the cog on the right hand side, we wanna glue this one in position. So we're going to put a bit of glue underneath, push this down and then rotate it round to smear the glue. Next we're going to put one more on the top side. That part is finished. This one's a little bit different. You'll notice there's some lettering on here. This is to differentiate between the cogs that are for the other part and the ones that are for this. So find the ones labelled A. Now we're going to do the same process we did on the other one. We're going to score down the centre, fold the two parts together, 
and we're going to make sure we line up these holes and these holes and those teeth. There we go, making sure our teeth are aligned and holes are aligned. The A's are always facing inwards, you're going to know because this one, when you put it down, the teeth are incorrect, so it must be this one here. So we double check that before we glue it. Again, before it dries, just push that through to clear out any glue on the inside. Flip it over and do the other one. Now we're going to glue this in place. The last thing to do is to take one of your 40 millimeter sticks and you're going to put it through the back here and that comes all the way up to there so it's flush on the underside. So if you pop a little bit of glue in Making sure this is the top side. Tiny bit of glue in there. Insert your stick, and twist it to smear the glue around. And if there's any glue on the back side, like I've got on mine, either wait for that to dry, or if it's not too hot, you can wipe that away now. Now you can take the last of these four cardboard circles and they're all gonna stack up on here and we're gonna glue them in place. And what that does, at the minute, this is a bit wobbly and we want to give this some support. The jaws are now ready. We can mesh the gears together and you can see how they work together. Okay, now to build the body for this. This part here doesn't need to be quite as accurate as lining up the gears, so we should just be able to start folding this up. So, fold that up, and that one. Fold that up, and that one. Fold this one up, and this one. These ones here are going to fold back the other way. So these are coming up, these ones are going back. Back once, back twice. See that? As this comes round and over, this one here wants to be folded back on itself. And these want to also be folded back on themselves. And let's see if we can put this together. You can squash it all the way down. Push that over for a second. Insert it in through the gap in the middle. And then if you push down in the center and then push on the sides, that should be the shape you end up with. Now, what we're gonna do going to squirt a bit of glue in here and a bit in the other end and then we're going to hold it nice and straight while it glues. Squirt that end, squirt that end, hold it together so that it's nice and square. Next thing to do, these tabs here, they want bending inwards and gluing in place and then hold it shut in the middle so we don't burn ourselves. The reason for making these parts chamfered here, this, this is called a chamfer, is to make it easier to fit. If you can see, there's also one on the underside. So when we insert the jaws into the main body, it goes in really nicely around this area. Now to assemble all these parts together, take your two 40 millimeter parts, slot them in, So they should be able to stick through a little bit of the base. Slide your first jaw on, just make sure that's nice and free running. Now, when you put the other jaw on, you need to match the tips together. So keep this in the center, 
and just mesh those teeth. There we go. That should be working. So if I move this one, the top one has to move as well. Now, not finished yet. Make sure these aren't protruding too much. Bring this piece here over the top and shimmy that on. Okay, now we want to get these. These don't want to be sticking up too high, just enough so that we can put some glue around them. And if you want to check, you can get yourself another one of these circles, slide it over the top, and it should be completely smooth across the top. The reason for that is that we don't want it to hit the syringe as it moves across here. So they're just sticking out just a little bit. Hold this down nicely. Not too tight, but, but it doesn't want to be, this doesn't want to be open, it wants to be shut. And then holding that together, we're going to glue around these. Finally, just want to seal them in place by putting some glue around the back side here. That's the jaws done. If I hold it on here and move this one, you'll see they both operate together. Last thing to do is to stick the sticky pads onto the insides of here. They've got a paper backing, and we should need to peel that off and then put them into place. Now if you lay that across the top, squidge it in a little bit, you can use your ruler to push it nicely to the bottom. Just like that. There we go. Both jaws have got some nice grip on them now. Perfect getting hold of a box or anything else you can lay your hands on.